What do you think is going to be, aside from the economy, the main issue in this presidential campaign? You've been doing the polling, you've been looking at the numbers, you've been talking to people in swing states because you've been out on this messaging tour. Just look at me, I'm exhausted. What you do, you know, I, don't know how I think you look office. fresh as a daisy. Uh, tell me a little bit about what people are telling oh, you. I'm about sorry, there. I fell asleep. <laughs> uh, it's all, it's character, it's attributes. Yeah, the issues matter, but it's also who you are, what you're about. Uh, uh, do you understand? Do you, do you feel their pain and their anxiety? And do you have a problem-solving capability? Can you address it? Barack Obama's got the advantage on feeling their pain. Now, I like to say that he caused their pain, but he feels it while he's causing it. Right. Mitt Romney is a problem solver, but he doesn't give off that sense of, I get it, I feel it, I understand it. So I don't know who the Americans are gonna vote for. The, the empathizer in chief, or the problem solver in chief. You really don't know? If I had to say right now on July, whatever date this is. I think it's the 18th. On July 18th, I'd give the edge to Obama. Uh, and there was one point for about two weeks when I said I couldn't choose. Yeah. And I hate doing that because I'm a pollster, I'm supposed to give a projection. Right. Now, I think Obama has taken the edge again. And I will say this, I am watching two states. I had it down to one and now it's back up to two, which is Ohio and Virginia. Virginia. You tell me which, who wins both those states. I don't care what happens in the rest of the 48 states. I don't care. I don't look at national polling data. I don't even look at state by state, except for Ohio and Virginia.